In this video, I'm going to show you um, Amiga 3000 uh, running an Apple II or Macintosh emulation um, using an AMAX 4 board with a, a Rio ROMs. So let me get started. right here let's get the startup it's an AMAX 4 let me show you configuration I'm using a Amiga built-in video which means on Amiga 3000 I can only get 16 colors uh, memory I set up for a 8 megabyte uh, RAM Uh, let's see devices. Uh, I'm actually gonna use a Amax hard drive. I have a fully dedicated hard drive, uh, which is bootable for a Macintosh. I have some other ones which I use to transfer files, but this is the major one. And I guess that's it. There's nothing really uh, specific here. I tried to. Uh, Use an external CD-ROM, but for some reason it didn't work. I'm not sure what the problem is. Okay, so let's go start it. Welcome to Macintosh Color. I don't know what the screen is flickering, but it does that when the hard drive is accessed. I guess something's not grounded. There you go. So I got a Mac desktop on my Amiga. Uh, let's see. How does it see it uh, about the Macintosh? So it's telling me it's a Macintosh Quadra 950. I'm running system software 7.1. It says I got 18 megs of RAM and I guess I have a 7 meg free. Okay, let's see if I can run some programs. I had a hard time loading games and programs. Uh, the hard file reading is not very good it will freeze if I'm trying to copy some files but I was able to copy some stuff uh, let's get programs uh, let's see a word perfect this one seems to work very nicely The Mac is running at 16 colors, so it's not going to look as good as 256 colors um, software. But that's all I can do for now. There we go. Uh, let's open a file. Let's see, how about document I opened uh, one time understanding the internet ancient technology so, I guess it works See if I can do a new file.
Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Okay, let me close that. It's not very speedy, but I'm not sure if that's how Macintosh was running because this is a 68 or 30, 25 megahertz. That could be real speed. I'm not sure. I did have a 60 megahertz one and it was very slow. I also have a game, it's a black and white game, I guess for original Macintosh. Oops. Looks like it's working on this one too. Hey, or hockey. It's pretty neat. Ah. It's too fast. Let me see if I can beat him. There you go. As you can see, it runs pretty good. Whoa. Ah. Anyway, let's go to King. The installation of the software took, I don't know, a month or two to get it all running perfectly. It, it was a pain in the butt, that's for sure. I would love to try 7.5, but I would like to try it on a different hard drive, but I don't have one, because I don't want to erase 7.1 and try to install 7.5, and it, if it didn't, doesn't work, then I have to do it again. Um, I just don't want to go through that again. It was really hard to get it working, but it's pretty good. Okay, well, thank you for watching.